All right, hey guys. So Quentin emailed me and said that you got the Legere and you played them, you like them, but they're pretty sharp in pitch, which is very normal. All of my reads, when they've arrived, have been sharp at pitch. And I'm, and I'm about a thousand feet lower in elevation than you are in Salt Lake. So I wanna show you what I do to bring the pitch down. Um, what I have here are two mugs of water. You can see one has ice water in it. And this one, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's hot, it's like steaming hot. I don't know if you can see the steam there, okay? So um, what I use are these throat mandrels. I actually think one of them might even be an oboe mandrel, but you want something that you can get into the throat of the reed. So um, you're just gonna grab your Legere reed and stick it on a mandrel. I'm gonna put my phone down for a second so I can actually do this. So I really like this mandrel, and I kind of put it so the tip of the mandrel is flush with the tip of the reed. Um, maybe even slightly more, because when these reeds get really hot for this adjustment, they can tear, and I've done that to like all of my corners. So you're just gonna dip it in there for 10 seconds. And then you're just gonna transfer it to the ice water for 10 seconds. And pull it out. And you should immediately notice that your aperture is slightly more open. Um, and that should lower the pitch immediately. Now you can repeat that a few times and you might start to notice that you might get some, a little bit of micro fracturing in the reed. That's okay. I don't know if uh, Legere would think it's okay, but I have not noticed that that micro fracturing does anything to harm these reeds whatsoever. So I'm gonna do another one so you can see it again and I'll show you the aperture. Um, so here's this reed's current aperture. You get a good view on that. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stick this mandrel in just slightly past the tip. Put it so it's like that. And then put it in the hot water for 10 seconds. And then put in the cold water for 10 seconds. Take it out, take it off the mandrel. Yeah, and you can definitely see now that that aperture has really opened up. Okay, so that's really gonna lower your pitch. Now, if you find that that's still not low enough for your liking, there's another adjustment you can make very carefully. You're gonna take your plaque and um, stick it in very, very carefully. Watch those corners, because they, they will get ripped, torn. Um, stick that in and do the same thing, 10 seconds. And you can put it on a holding mandrel if you want. And then 10 seconds in the ice water. Again, be really careful with these corners because um, they'll tear. And of course, it doesn't seem to really hurt anything if they do tear. But you can see there, that once again, that's opened up that aperture even more. Nice little zoom in on it. Um, there it is. <clears throat> this will also make the reed a little more resistant, so just be aware of that. If you mess with that tip, you're going to have to have some pretty iron bassoon chops to play it. So just be careful of that. I would do the, the um, mandrel 
adjustment before you do the tip and see how much you can pull your pitch down with that. If it's still having problems, um, let me know because I have played mine down in Salt Lake and they were, they were in tune. So, um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Bye.